Welcome to Fox Tech, everyone. In this explanation video, we'll be exploring how to forward a text message from your iPad to an email address. This is a handy skill to have, especially when you wanna share a conversation you've had over text with someone else via email. We'll look at a couple of different situations where you might wanna do this and the steps involved in each case. There might be times when you're chatting with someone over text messages and wanna share that conversation with another person through email. Alternatively, you might be using iMessage on your iPad and notice that sometimes you're sending messages to phone numbers which show up in blue bubbles, while other times you're sending text messages to email addresses. These situations can be a bit confusing, so let's break them down. First, let's talk about sending messages to someone's email address instead of their phone number. Here's how this works. Apple links your email addresses to your iMessage account via your Apple ID. iMessage supports sending messages to these Apple IDs, which can be email addresses. When you start a new conversation and enter an email address that's associated with an Apple ID, it connects directly to iMessage. The recipient's Apple device recognizes the email address as their iMessage contact information, allowing you to send messages seamlessly iMessage routes your message through Apple servers using the email address instead of a phone number, making it possible to chat with someone using their email. However, if you want to share a text message conversation with someone via email, the options are somewhat limited. You can't just share an entire chat or even a single text bubble directly to an email. What you can do, however, involves a couple of different methods. One way is to copy the text messages individually and paste them into an email. This method requires a bit of patience as you'll need to go through the conversation and copy each message you want to forward. Once copied, you can paste these messages into your email app and send them off to your intended recipient. Another method is to take screenshots of the conversation. To do this, simply press the appropriate buttons on your iPad to capture the screen showing the text messages. You can then attach these screenshots to an email and send them that way. This method is a bit quicker and visually shows the entire conversation as it appeared on your device. Additionally, if you wanna share more than just static images, you can record your screen while scrolling through the conversation. This video recording can then be sent via email, providing a dynamic way to share the conversation, capturing the entire exchange along with any other details you might want to include. So there you have it. Whether you're sending messages directly to someone's email via iMessage or forwarding a conversation by copying text, taking screenshots, or recording your screen, you now have a few different methods to choose from. Thank you for watching this video on Foxtech. If you found this information helpful, please like the video and subscribe to our channel for more tech tips and tutorials. See you guys later.